This is the Samsung Galaxy mobile phone. We're going to show you how to download and use the screen recorder. So the phone itself doesn't come with any inbuilt screen recorder. So let us go to the Play Store. Now from the Play Store, you need to type in screen recorder. As you can see, there are several screen recorders shown over here. We will recommend the AZ screen recorder over here. I think that is one of the better ones. Let's step on that. Let's install. We will accept. Once finished installing, let's open the apps. There's a shortcut added as well. Let's go to the home screen. So this is the apps that has just been installed. And you've got settings. You can take a screenshot. You can record your screen. There's a live stream and also some featured apps. Let's go to settings. And these are the control options. In order to use the magic button over here, which is an invisible button that does everything, you need to turn it on. And this will require that you install the Pro feature. So if you click OK, it will bring you to this uh, link over here, where you need to purchase it for $3.99. We will skip that. So there are some stop options as well, where you can stop by notification, you can show a red blinking dot, you can stop on the screen off, you can stop on shake or even enable a time limit. Moving on, we have the video configuration and uh, these are the other resolutions that is available. We will leave it as um, the 1280 by 720. Similarly, for frame rate, we will leave it as default. It can go up to 60 frames per second. For the beat rate, we will leave it as auto. Now there's an orientation settings here. You can set it to auto, landscape or even portrait. So there's also a time lapse video. That's primarily the video speed. For the audio configuration, you may want to leave it as on because we want to record the audio. Next, for the overlay information, there's a text and logo. You can show text and yeah, you can uh, type in a text. You can change the text if needed. We will turn it off. Similarly for logo. You can change to some stickers if needed. We're going to turn off the logo as well. So for show touches, we can show visual feedback for touches. Let's turn it on. You can show camera for a face cam or a rear cam. And for timer, there's a time recording. You can show the duration if needed. You can turn it on. And there's a countdown before starting. Currently, the countdown value is 3 seconds. We'll leave it as is. So there are others like removing ads, probably you need to uh, install the Pro feature as well. And controller type, and some other settings here where you can keep notifications on. Where you can turn it on to record with notification whenever you want. So this is basically the settings of these apps. So let us 
try to do a screen recording right now. We will need to tap on this icon. It will start capturing everything that is displayed on our screen. So let's start now. There will be a countdown and it will start recording. So we need to pull down notification to stop the recording. So let's go to the Play Store. So let's go to the Play Store and we'll go back. We can um, go back. This is a Google Play Store and let's maybe try to search for music player. Okay, I think we will stop the demo here and we will stop recording. So this is how you download and use the screen recorder for your Samsung Galaxy mobile phone series.